And now we want to give you an update on that crash that killed a little boy and his great grandfather. Police say that Brandy Bear was driving under the influence when she lost control and then crashed into the back of a home where the family was sitting on the porch. A memorial to honor the little boy and his great grandfather now sits in front of that house, which happens to be located in Montpelier. That is northwest of Indianapolis. It's in Blackford County, about an hour and a half northeast of the capital city. Today, Karen Campbell traveled there and she spoke with the father who lost his little boy. He was so excited for kindergarten. Jared Reynolds and his family's lives are now changed forever. On Thursday night, Montpelier police said Brandy Bear was speeding, driving under the influence, and crashed into the back of this home, a home where Reynolds was at a family gathering. My dad lives on a little hill, I guess you could say, and there's a little hill, and somehow she hit that, and it ramped her through the middle of his entire home. Police say the car landed in the front yard, killing five-year-old Jensen Reynolds and his great-grandfather, 79-year-old Jake Michael. Jared and his 18-month-old daughter, Emma, were both airlifted to the hospital. It was like, like a movie, like you see on a movie where glass and uh, things are shattering and, you know, you got the dust and, and you're looking around and there's bodies and it's like, you know, I'll never forget that. That'll never be out of my mind. A memorial now sits as a reminder of lives lost. We lived a block away from each other. We were at their house every day. Every day. Now I can't even go home. According to court documents, an officer found Brandy Bear sitting on the ground at the scene crying, saying she was sorry and did not mean to do it. The officer noticed her speech was slurred and her eyes were bloodshot. She was arrested on a number of charges, including reckless homicide. Bear also has a criminal history. A judge set her bond for $5,000, an amount the family says isn't enough. The best thing for my family is for her to stay in jail, make it harder for her to get out, make it a higher bond to get out. Well, the family is still seeking answers as to why the judge issued that $5,000 bond for Brandy Bear. Now, as for Bear, she is due in court on Thursday.